Hale Smith, it was an exciting day at Wabtec as the company and its Australian customer Roy Hill rolled out the world's first 100% battery-powered heavy haul freight locomotive. And if that's not enough of a headline, the locomotive is bright pink. Lisa Adams covered the event today for us. She's here to tell us more about the debut and just, Lisa, why a locomotive will be hauling heavy iron ore in pink. Yeah, it's a good question, Mike. Waptech says the rollout of this powerful 100% battery-powered locomotive for mining company Roy Hill is a major step in the journey to low or zero emissions in the rail industry. And it's pink to send an equally powerful message about supporting the fight against breast cancer. The debut of the world's first 100% battery-powered heavy haul locomotive is as dramatic as the bright pink paint. The rollout brought leaders from Australian iron ore mining company Roy Hill together with Wabtec to celebrate the partnership that furthered development of the FlexDrive battery electric locomotive here in Erie. Fantastic partnership, uh, looking at, always looking at how they can help us to be better, how they can help us to improve the reliability of our locomotives. And that's critical because we've got a single line from the mine to the port and if anything happens on that line, our whole production comes to a standstill. With a capacity of 7 megawatt hours, it's three times more powerful than Wabtec's prototype we showed you in testing in California a couple of years ago. After this one is tested, it will be paired with diesel train sets at Roy Hill, hauling 200 tons of iron ore a day to port. So this one uh, locomotive can influence the emissions and the fuel economy of three other locomotives that are there. So instead of touching four locomotives, you touch one locomotive by inserting this uh, battery electric locomotive into that train set and we'll be getting a double digit reduction in emissions and fuel economy. This isn't the first pink locomotive delivered from Wabtec to its customer Roy Hill, but it is the first 100% battery operated one, and the color scheme just demonstrates the company's commitment to battling breast cancer. So as part of the celebration, Wabtec showed its commitment to presenting Linked by Pink, a check for $50,000 for its mission to support young women battling breast cancer. I don't think we can even begin to, to fathom what this means for our organization and how many more women and families will be able to support in the Erie community because of it. After testing and perfecting, this is expected to be the first of more orders for flex drive battery locomotives for Roy Hill, something Wabtec says should make Erie proud. It's, it's really the whole community should be really proud of in terms of Erie, Pennsylvania is the global leader in terms of exporting this technology to the world. And we've explained this technology to you before. When the locomotive goes downhill with those other locomotives too, then it can store or recapture the energy for all of those batteries for the trip back to the mine. And other locomotive customers are online for Wabtec's Flex Drive Battery Locomotive too. So what is learned at Roy Hill's mining operation will further Wabtec's work to decarbonize the rail industry. And President and CEO Rafael Santana told me it means good things for employment for its Western Pennsylvania operations from Pittsburgh through Grove City to right here in Erie, where they research and design these locomotives. Alive in the studio, Lisa Adams, Erie News Now.